a, a, a thing about his book, of course, is that uh, you uh, there is talk about these two characters. I mean, for me, I'm more of a character base. I look for characters in books that I read. And in this one, the two that stand out is Deva and Billiard. These two characters, right? Simply because they are polar opposites of one another. Correct. Deva seems to be the wiser one who talks more. Uh, he analyzes, he views things. Whereas Billiard seems like to be this irrational, trigger-happy guy. Uh, who was your favorite character uh, that you met or that you wrote about in this book? Okay, one thing we must remember is only Deva is alive today. Mm. So whatever version that he tells us is the only version we will ever know. What mm. The only version that I would ever know. Because I've never had the opportunity to speak to, Bid, uh, to Billiard or to uh, Kali. Mm. So... Still, we have to take a bit of, um, you know, are you really telling me the truth? You know, With a pinch of salt. Yeah, 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 correct. Yeah. But Billet is someone that I've been very fascinated about, um, especially after learning about his family, his mm. background, and growing up in such an environment, you know, he produces pers- uh, someone like this. So it's something that we should be, we should look into. Mm. Given, I mean, especially today, mm. how we raise our kids. It's things important. that we expose them to. Mm. Are we even aware of what's happening in the society today? Mm. They'll be very quick to judge that, oh, this person is bad. But just take a moment and look back. What has he had to go through mm. all this while mm. for him to come to this level? Mm. It, it, it's interesting you say that because even um, when we look at Bentong Kali's early life, you see abject poverty. I mean, there's a story where he, he and his brothers used to take the lalang dip in water and, and suckle it, or they should see what monkeys to eat. Uh, mon- monkeys were eating and eat it because if it was if, you, if it was edible, they, they would eat it. And then you, you also see his other affiliates who also come from such backgrounds, right? If, uh, are these characters the fault of ours? That uh, the fault of society, the fault of the environment, that... It was us who created, it, it was the society or the environment at that time that created the hell that these demons came out of. Um, I'm thinking if you look back at whatever we have gone through, no matter who we are, right? At every point, at somewhere, somewhere, we would have gone through bullying. Mm. We would have been bullied. In Which is also something that they credit to yeah, their violence. How did, we, how did we react? I'm sure all of us got this anger in us. We want to punch back, but why we didn't we? Mm. I was bullied too. Mm. I didn't punch anyone yet. In school, SDK? <laughs> <laughs> Yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So how do we react? Mm. So I think it, it all depends on how much the person can endure mm. or how much you push them to. So probably came to a point where they just couldn't take it. Or people, probably this was the only way they could uh, handle things. Mm. I was also doing some interviews with um, members from other pa- other gang. Mm. This was in, in the early 80s and 90s. Uh, this, uh, this gang called Satu Hati. Okay, so how did they come about? Why, I w- why were they part of this gang? So they used to tell me these stories. You know, when you finish work, you, you just, you're out of estate. Okay, estates were cleared and you have to come to the city to find work and you find work in factories. So when you finish work, there'll be guys waiting outside there. Hand me over your money. Hand me over your salary. What do they have to do? You have to either give them the money or you join any, any gang so that it gives you a protection. So in some cases, you can fight back. But if you're old, of course, like if you're in your 50s, 60s, you're working in a factory, how, how much can you fight? How can you fight guys who are younger than you and stronger than you? So you have to join these gangs for protection. So I, can, I think that that's something that happened over the years. So they sort of look for protection for someone to, to ensure that they can go back home safe. 